fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Hello, friends. This is The Lone Ranger. I'd like you to listen to something. All over the country, in every direction How you, how you doing is the question And here's one the have to have happy people have to say Wheaties, oh, Wheaties And do, do, do an okay, okay You know, that's right People in various parts of the country have different accents perhaps Or dress a little differently But the ones with plenty of drive, the go-getters Have one thing in common They're careful about their diet. They see to it that they eat a good, honest breakfast every day. And a breakfast built around wheat couldn't be better for you. Wheat is real man food. So, bear in mind... Keep on eating your wheaties And you'll be doo-doo-doo-doo-an okay With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. Are you still there? A short distance from town, where the main trail went through a canyon, several men waited behind some large boulders. The leader of the gang, Duke Keller, was saying... That hombre bringing the payroll for the new mine should have been here long ago. He was you to arrive at the Rockton Bank at noon. Yeah, he was leaving Mill Bank when I hit the trail. I took shortcuts to get here ahead of him. Hey, wait a minute, Looks like he's coming out. Yeah. We better hit ladder and be ready. Get to your saddles, boys. All right, right, let's go. Come on, boys. Over there. This is a hold up, Missy. Hold on. You won't get anything of value from me. Stop strolling. Give me that black bag from under the seat pronto. All right, Thunder, if you want it, you'll have to get it yourself. Going to act tough, eh? Keep him covered, man. Now get the bag. Oh, no. I won't let you take that bag. I expected that move. This will keep you quiet. Uh, you should have known, but in the try to stop me. Uh, here's a bag. Search him, Duke. Maybe he's got some cash on him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, not much cash. He's got a gold watch and fob. I might as well take it. One of you fellas can have it. <laughs> All right, let's get away from here. Get it back. It was just about dusk when Tonto arrived at the camp after a trip to town. Oh, Scott, go, fella. Easy, Scott. Easy, fella. Hear anything about Duke Keller's gang in town, Tonto? Ah. Feller in Buckboard come to town a while ago. Him report to Sheriff that he'd been get robbed of mine payroll by outlaws. Him say them wear handkerchiefs cross face. I see. Golly, I wonder if he was the same man I met on the trail today. Well, what fella you meet look like, Dan? Well, he was, well, a big man, very friendly. He was driving a roan. Oh, him same fella. Him say outlaws take bag with payroll, then knock him on head and take cash and watch from pockets. Gosh, he showed me the fine watch Fobby had. It's possible that was a killer gang. That's right. Sheriff leave with posse to trail outlaws. Me not think them go far. It get dark soon. There's no moon tonight. We'll wait until dawn and then try to pick up their trail. But is the Keller gang? This may be the break we've been looking for. That evening, the Lone Ranger disguised his features to look like a nondescript cowpoke. Then he and Toto went to the cafe in town to find out what progress the posse had made in their search. They sat nearby as the outlaw Jake spoke to the sheriff who had just entered. 
Uh, hi, Chef. How'd you make out in the hunt for the outlaws? Well, they left a trail as far as the river, then we lost them. We searched up and down both banks, but we couldn't pick up the trail again. Oh, it's too bad. And the worst of it is, it's starting to rain. I was hoping we could pick up the trail in the morning. The rain will wash away all signs. Luck seems to be against you, Chef. Yes, uh, don't all let right, let's go, Potter. We've heard enough. Uh, not good rain cover trail. In spite of the rain, Toto, we'll search along the river in the morning. Easy, steady, big fellow. Come on, Hillary. Up, scout. The following morning, the Lone Ranger, once more wearing his mask, left the camp with Toto after telling Dan they'd be back by noon. Dan had been told to take his horse, Victor, into town to the blacksmith's shop for a new shoe. Dan rode leisurely to town. While he waited for the blacksmith to finish with Victor... A rough-looking man pulled to a stop outside. Here comes another customer, Mr. Norton. That's all right, Daniel. I'll be through here in just a minute. Well, howdy, mister. I want to get some horseshoe nails. Got any to spare? Well, now, I reckon I can let you have a few, mister. Be with you in just a minute or two. Well, it seems to me you could stop long enough to sell me a few nails. I haven't got all morning. I got to get back. Must be getting on to 10 o'clock already. <clears throat> This dog on water stopped again. Easy, fella. Well, Daniel, there you are. He's all ready to ride. I'll get the nails. Uh, reckon a handful will be enough, mister? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hurry it up. Here. Uh-huh. Well, here, here's a quarter. Keep the change. I gave him more than a quarter's worth of those nails. But I better forget it. You said the new shoe would be a dollar? That's right, Daniel. Here it is, sir. Thanks. Well, there's something I've been wanting to ask you, Daniel. Uh, Sorry, me. Mr. Norton. I can't stop to talk now. I want to follow that man. What do you want to follow him for? Because of that watch and fob he's carrying. Goodbye, sir. Steady, boy. Come on, Victor. Come on, boy. Come on, Victor. Dan Reed rode hurriedly along the trail the man who bought the nails had taken. As he rounded a turn in the trail, he was startled to find the man waiting for him in a clump of cottonwoods. Stop where you are, Bottom, or I'll plug you. Ho, ho, Victor, ho, 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 ho. Oh, holy. I heard you coming at a fast clip behind me. What are you following me for? What makes you think I was? You didn't seem to be in a big hurry back at the blacksmith shop. What's more, I noticed you're staring at my watch and fob back there. I noticed how unusual it is. The fob, I mean. Maybe I'm local, but I still think you were trailing me. I, I guess I just made a mistake and took the wrong trail. I'll go back to town now. Oh, no, you don't. Hold on, Button. You go back and blab about seeing that watch and fob. Why you... should I mention it, sir? You might, and I'm not taking any chances. I'll take you along with me and let Duke Keller decide what to do with you. Now, right ahead and go on, get moving. Come on, Victor. Come on. Get up there, boy. At noon, the Lone Ranger and Toto, who had been unsuccessful in picking up the gang's trail because of the rain the night before, returned to their camp. They waited for more than an hour. Then the Lone Ranger became concerned about Dan. Toto, Dan knew we'd be here at noon. He should have been back long ago. That's right. If blacksmith busy, damn not wait this long. We ride toward town to meet him. Here's a look. Here's Scout. The big fella easy, Scout. Easy fella. Come on, Come on, Scout. Failing to meet Dan along the way, the Lone Ranger waited in a grove of trees because of his mask, while Tonto rode into town to the blacksmith shop. Before long, Tonto returned and reigned to a halt hurriedly. Oh, Scout. Oh, fella. Easy, Scout. Easy, well, what did we find out, Toto? A blacksmith, old friend of ours. Him once have shop near Padre's mission. Feller named Norton. I remember Norton. Uh, what about Dan? A blacksmith say stranger come to shop. Dan leave quick. Him tell blacksmith he want to follow man. Well, what for? Well, Dan say something about watch and fob feller carry. Then him ride after feller quick. I see. Toto, yesterday when you told us about the man who was held up, Dan mentioned the fine watch fob the man carried. Isn't that right? Me remember. The stranger must have been one of the outlaws. That's why Dan followed him after he saw the watch and fob. Ah. 
Blacksmith say Dan leave there about ten this morning. Then they must have caught Dan. Anything might happen. Ah. Blacksmith say him go to town, tell Sheriff about us. Him have Sheriff follow our trail. Good. We may need help. All right, let's hurry. We'll pick up Dan's trail at the blacksmith shop. Easy, steady, big fella. Easy, fella. One, two, three. Watch out. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Jenny is ten, and is she good? She's skip rope champ of the neighborhood. She's so quick because she knows she's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, she's got go power. There she goes. She's feeling her Cheerios. 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 That makes sense. Try Cheerios, the wonderful oat cereal that's shaped like a little letter O, and you'll agree. You'll like that delicious toasted oat flavor, and Cheerios is ready to eat. Just pour out a big bowl full, add good fresh milk, dig in, and start getting your go power. Because a Cheerios breakfast is full of vitamins, proteins, and minerals. And those are the good things you need to help build red blood, healthy bodies, and strong muscles. So enjoy your breakfast every day with delicious Cheerios and milk and get that good go power. Then folks will say... She's feeling her Cheerios. <laughs> to continue. After waiting some time for Dan to return to camp, the Lone Ranger and Toto went to find him. Toto learned about the outlaw Jake whom Dan had followed from the blacksmith shop. The Lone Ranger realized that Dan must have known he was trailing one of the outlaws, and the masked man feared that harm might fall to the young boy. He and Toto immediately headed for the blacksmith shop. Dan's tracks go along that branch trail, Toto. Ah, tracks easy to see. Because of new horseshoe on Victor. Maybe that the outlaw hasn't discovered that Dan trailed him. We may meet Dan on the way back to get us. Me hope you're right, Kimasabi. But outlaw's plenty smart. I know. There's no doubt in my mind that Dan is in their hands. All right, let's hurry and follow his trail. Meantime, Dan, tied hand and foot, lay on a cot in the old cabin. The boy looked up as Duke with Rusty and Jake entered. He finally decided what he's going to do with you. He sure has, bud. And you aren't going to like it one bit. Listen, Mr. Keller, let me go and I'll forget about everything on us. <laughs> sure you would. The first thing you'd do would be to beat it to the sheriff and show him the way here. Huh? If it hadn't been for that stolen watch, you wouldn't have suspected Jake. I told the fool not to flash around town. Oh, how did I know this maverick would recognize it? Well, it just happens he did recognize it. That's his hard luck. What have you decided to do with me? I figured a good way to get rid of you, kid. If they ever find you, they'll think it was an accident. An accident? What do you mean? Just that button. Nobody will be able to connect us with a killing. Killing? <laughs> Please tell me. What is it you intend to do? All right, I will tell you. The river right here is now. There's one of those rope foot bridges just above here where there's a sort of a gorge. Below the bridge are a lot of rocks and rapids. But what does that to do with me? Tell us, Duke. I haven't got the plan straight in my mind. It's this way, Rusty. Jake will take the boy out, put him on his horse, and take him up to that rope bridge. And then what? Then, Jake, you'll make him ride across that bridge. If he gets across, he can go free. <laughs> That's what you call giving the kid a break. But... Those footbridges aren't strong enough to hold a horse. The ropes will snap and we'll be dashed to the rocks and rapids below. Yeah. That's what I expect to happen. All right, get up, kiddo. You and I are going for a nice ride. But Victor will be killed, too. I'm not going to ride him across. I'm not going to do it. Oh, yes, you will, Button. Because if you don't, I'll plug both you and the horse, Savvy. I'll be holding my gun on you all the time. Now get going. Just after Jake left the cabin with Dan, Duke Keller heard a whinny outside. He spoke to Rusty. Hey, Rusty, my horse don't whinny without a reason. I figure someone might be prowling around outside. Yeah, maybe it's Lou and Hank coming back from town. Maybe, but we better not take any chances. Duck out the back way and have a look around. Right. Huh? I should have had Jake guard the trail until Lou and Hank got back. 
Then he could have gone with a boy. Three, what should be quick about it. Well, a mask, hombre. At least it isn't the law. Don't let the mask fool you. What do you want, Mister? Where's the boy who was brought here? Give me a quick answer. Oh, I'll... what, Mister? <laughs> Drop those guns, Prano. Guns uh, pointed at your back. That's taking him by surprise, Rusty. You better drop your guns, Mister. Rusty will plug you if you don't. Me not think so, huh? Me hold gun behind, Rusty. Well, Holy smoke. And the Indian's in the doorway behind you, Rusty. Didn't you spot him when you came around from the back door? You drop gun quick. Me watch through window and see fella go out back door. Me hide, then follow the front door. Me said drop gun. Uh, yes, I have to. Good work, Toto. Uh, the Indian tricked me, Duke. Oh, you must be Duke Keller. Toto, get their guns. Uh, me get them. I don't sever this. Why should an outhoot like you... We're not outlaws, Keller. Now, tell me where the boy is. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Hey, what's going on? He must have brought others with him. He must be trying to move in on us with his own gang. Huh? Not these two hombres as he rode up to the cabin. Hey, Sheriff, he's got Lou and Hank. Uh-huh. We figured they're part of the gang. I'm glad you got here, Sheriff. A blacksmith came and told me about you, mister. He said you and your Indian friend were trailing an outlaw who'd been followed from his place by a boy. So he came to investigate. You must be the masked hombre, Mr. Norton Man. That's right. Keller, where's the boy? Speak up. Look around and find him if you can, mister. I'll holster my guns and loosen your tongue. Uh, Come here, you. Uh, let go or I'll bust you wide open. Yes, you and who else? Where is he? Speak up. I said let go. Playful, huh? I'll knock that mask right off your stupid face. Oh. <laughs> and this will knock that sneer off your face. And this, along with these. All right, get up. No, wait, wait, I'll tell you. Tell me quick. Hey, they took the boy up the river away. Yeah, he's going to make him ride across the footbridge. He must have it. That bridge would not hold boy and horse. Uh-huh, that's what Duke figured. Why, you rotten killer. I ought to break you in two Get right now. Off. Get him off. He's choking me. He must have it. That's not any good. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Toto. For a moment, I couldn't help uh, it. Me no. I'm going after Dan before it's too late. Near the end of the footbridge over the gorge, Dan sat on his horse, Victor, with Jake close behind him, holding a gun. Go on, you snooping maverick. Get going across that bridge. Let me go, please. I promise I won't... Stop tell... stalling. Get moving under that rope bridge. If you hesitate, I'll put a bullet in you. No. No, I'm not going to... Oh, yes, you will. If you go across, you'll have a chance. If you don't, I'll plug you. I... All right. Come on, Victor, boy. Leaping from Silver's back, the Lone Ranger ran first to pick up Jake's gun, which had dropped beside the wounded outlaw. Then the masked man turned and ran toward the bridge. Back, Victor, off the bridge, Dan. Hurry! Dan's horse, Victor, had gone only a few steps onto the bridge. Then, sensing that it was not safe, the intelligent horse refused to go further. But the bridge was too narrow for him to turn. Dan pulled frantically on the reins. Back up, Victor. Back, fella. Quick, Dan. The ropes are giving away. You can't turn around. We'll be I'll cast. take the bridle. Back, Victor. Hurry, fella. Back. Back, fella. Back. <laughs> Golly, if you hadn't come when you did, I... It's all right, Dan. No need to be frightened now. We'll take that wounded outlaw back to where the others are waiting. A short distance back along the trail, the Lone Ranger and Dan, who had Jake with them, met the others coming toward the bridge. Look, there comes Tano and some others. It could you get Dan Kimasabi. I almost didn't, Toto. We were already starting across. The bridge gave way just as we backed off it. Is that the dirty coyote who took the boy to the bridge? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Duke Kell and his men are a bad lot. All of them are killers. But how did this all come about? I, I don't quite savvy. These are the men who stole the mine payroll. They stole a man's watch and fob. He showed it to me yesterday when I met him before the holdup. I recognized the stolen watch when the outlaw looked at it in the blacksmith shop. So I followed him. By golly, you're a brave lad. Yes, and almost a dead one. 
That stolen watch and fob almost caused Dan's death. But it did lead to the outlaws, sir. Yes, that's true, Dan. If we hadn't arrived in time... Well, thank heaven we did. I have felt sorry for many an outlaw who had to hang. But I can't feel any sympathy for Keller and his men. They're wanted for murder in Eagle Pass, Sheriff. We'll see that they get there. Don't worry. Good. Well, we'll right on ahead, Sheriff. We have another job to do north of here. Let's go, Dan. Tonto. Adios, Sheriff. Goodbye. Come on, Dan. Who is that masked hombre, anyway? I Sunday, he's the first hombre I ever saw who could beat up Duke Keller. And he sure did beat him up, too. <laughs> Wonder he didn't kill him. <laughs> Doggone if Duke won't remember that masked man till he's hanged. <laughs> For a minute there, before the Indian step stopped him, he was treating Keller like a bulldog with a rag doll. Yep, the blacksmith told me who he is. That masked hombre... Is the Lone Ranger. Yes, the Lone Ranger. 